in the vastness of the cosmos, among stars that pulse with nuclear fire, and galaxies that swirl like ancient pinwheels, there may lie remnants from the dawn of time, threads of the universe's earliest moments, thinner than atoms, but stretching across millions of light years. These are cosmic strings, theoretical relics from the Big Bang, long predicted by physicists, but never observed until now. For decades, these elusive structures have been the subject of speculation and mathematical modeling. They're not strings in the usual sense, but rather hypothetical one-dimensional topological defects. Imagine a crease in space-time itself, a scar left over from the violent birth of the universe. And if they exist, they are ancient. So ancient that they predate stars, planets, and even atoms, born microseconds after the Big Bang. These strings are believed to be unimaginably thin, far thinner than a proton, yet carry incredible energy. A single mile of cosmic string might outweigh Mount Everest. They are the compressed fury of the early universe, locked in lines of immense tension. And now a group of researchers believe they may have finally glimpsed them, not through elaborate particle collisions or deep space gravitational wave detectors, but in something as grand and yet as visually poetic as the sky itself. Using data from the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists studying a distant galaxy cluster known as RxJ2129 may have stumbled upon what looks like the visual footprint of a cosmic string. Here's how it happened. While examining the high-resolution images taken by Webb, astronomers noticed something peculiar. A galaxy, light from it stretched and bent by gravitational lensing, appeared not just once, not twice, but three times in the image. And each image looked almost identical, as though the same cosmic photocopy had been stamped across the sky. Now, gravitational lensing is not new. It occurs when massive objects like galaxy clusters bend the light of more distant galaxies behind them, distorting or even multiplying the images. But what the researchers saw was different. These three galaxy images weren't just similar. They were nearly perfect duplicates without the usual distortions expected from standard gravitational lensing. That's when a startling possibility emerged. What if this wasn't just any gravitational lens? What if they were seeing the lensing caused by a cosmic string? You see, cosmic strings, if they exist, would warp the space around them in a very peculiar way. They wouldn't bend light like a curved spoon, but instead act more like a wedge removed from a circle. Imagine space-time as a sheet of rubber with a tiny slice cut out, then stitched back together. Any light passing near such a defect would be doubled, like a mirage split in two. A galaxy behind a cosmic string would appear twice, or even more, if the geometry was just right, and the images would be nearly identical. This is what the scientists saw. They presented their findings in a preprint carefully outlining the strange lensing pattern and ruling out known phenomena. Could this finally be the first visual signature of a cosmic string? It's an exhilarating idea, one that reaches back to the earliest seconds of the universe. To understand how cosmic strings could exist, we have to delve into the symmetries of physics and how they may have been broken during the universe's expansion. Picture a pot of water freezing into ice. The transition from one phase to another isn't always smooth. Cracks and bubbles appear. Defects in the structure of the solid. Likewise, during the rapid cooling that followed the Big Bang, the fields that govern physics may have undergone symmetry breaking. In this process, defects like domain walls, monopoles and cosmic strings could have formed. Theorists from the likes of Tom Kibble to Edward Witten have long speculated about these defects. Some versions of string theory even suggest that cosmic strings might be fundamental objects, 
literal vibrating strings from higher dimensions, but proving their existence has always been the sticking point. They would emit gravitational waves, yes, but faint and rare ones. They might cause sudden bursts of radiation, but hard to distinguish. Visual proof has always been tantalizingly out of reach until this lensing anomaly. The researchers, using Webb's powerful infrared capabilities, have offered the clearest image yet of what might be a cosmic string slicing through space. If confirmed, this would not just be a scientific milestone. It would be a window into the universe's first microsecond, a time beyond even the reach of the cosmic microwave background. The implications are staggering. First, it would confirm a fundamental prediction of several high-energy physics models, including grand unified theories, that attempt to unite the strong, weak, and electromagnetic forces into a single framework. Second, it would offer a new method of probing the early universe, one not reliant on particle accelerators or dark matter detectors, but on cosmic archaeology, hunting the sky for subtle distortions caused by threads of frozen energy. Third, it would force a re-evaluation of the structure of the universe. If one cosmic string is found, how many more are out there? Are they rare, singular threads left behind? Or are they part of a vast cosmic network, still crisscrossing the universe, like the stitching on a vast celestial quilt? And then there's the ultimate question. Could cosmic strings be more than relics? Could they be portals? In some speculative models, cosmic strings might be linked to wormholes, shortcuts through space-time. Others suggest that if a string loop collapsed, it could emit a catastrophic burst of energy detectable across the universe. The mere existence of these objects would demand a new chapter in our understanding of physics. But for now, we must wait. The observations need confirmation. More data is required. More lensing anomalies. More duplicated galaxies. More clues. The James Webb Space Telescope may continue scanning the heavens, and with its unmatched sensitivity, it may yet uncover more of these strange scars in the sky. But even this single candidate, a triple galaxy image, bent and stitched across space, ignites the imagination. What if space-time truly does bear the marks of its own violent birth? What if we can read those marks, not as mathematical theories or lab approximations, but as visible lines drawn across the night by the earliest fire of creation. In our quest to understand where we came from, what we are, and where the universe is going, perhaps we have now found a new signpost, a literal thread connecting the Big Bang to the stars above. Not just theory, not just dream, but evidence. Thin, elusive, silent, but real.